Hello, my friends. It's nice to be back with you for another Tuesday edition of Swagbooks Live, the mobile game show where you win big money from the comfort of your phone. We had thousands of winners yesterday, and I'm hoping that you join them this evening. I'm your swag queen, Devin Howard, here to walk with you towards the grand prize, asking you multiple choice questions about a variety of topics along the way. Nail them all, and you're getting your share of the prize. Speaking of which, how don't keep them waiting. That's $1,000, and I want you to win it. Yes, you. I also want you to win some bonus SP, so after Q1, you'll get one bonus SP for any question you get right, no matter what. If you want to keep them, claim them after the game, and if you're one of our winners, they're automatically added to your account. This game is brought to you by our friends at BarkBox, the monthly box for your furry friends, and later in the game, I'm going to tell you how you can double your first box while earning 4,000 SP. All right. Let's get cozy, get rid of the comments, and get into our game with our warm-up question. Here is question number one. What holiday usually involves singing carols? Memorial Day, Christmas, or Independence Day? The word carol means to dance or sing a song of praise and joy, which along with the nativity covers the themes of most carols that we sing during Christmas. All right, 10,902 of you answered that one correctly, so you're heading on into our second question. And uh, you deserve to have your own little praise, song of praise and joy. I would sing you a carol, but I'll wait until later in the game to get the tunes going here. I know how much you love it when the swag queen sings. so. Gotta make you wait for it, you know? Anyway, we had 98.7% of the Swag Nation get that one right. I love seeing so many of you walking with me into question number two. Let's get to it, everybody. It is worth one bonus SP. Here it is. What is the most populous city in the world? Shanghai, China, Anchorage, Alaska, or Manchester, England? Clocking in with over 24 million residents, it's got almost 6 million more people than Beijing, which occupies the second spot. The answer I'm looking for is Shanghai. We have 10,294 of you who answered that one correctly. That is a huge number of you who are heading on into our third question, but still, that would make up a fraction of the population in Shanghai. Can you believe that? That is so many people that live there. How many of you have actually visited Shanghai? Let me know in the chat down there. I've never been to China, but it's on my list. I plan to go one day. All right, Q3, everybody. It's worth one bonus SB. Here it is. What is the name of the appendage to an engine that charges the battery? Turn signal, windshield wiper, or alternator? If this piece fails, it can affect the entire electrical system. Telltale signs are dimming lights and the electrical system in general slowing down. If that happens, check the alternator. Wow, I gotta say I'm surprised how many of you knew this one. 10,498 of you knew this car part. Maybe we've got some car mechanics in here. Maybe it was a good guess. Maybe you just know the workings of an engine really well. Either way, you did. You did really well on that one. So you're going on into the fourth question today, and it's worth one bonus SB. Here it is, everybody. Led Zeppelin was originally a continuation of what band? BTS, The Yardbirds, or Imagine Dragons? Jimmy Page played bass with this group, and as the lineups continued to change, he tried to keep it going, winding up with the name Led Zeppelin after briefly going by the new Yardbirds. All right, toughest question that we've had so far. 7,551 of you got that one right, so you must be a big Led Zeppelin fan. Question five is yours, everybody, but we lost close to 3,000 people on this question. 2,900 of you got out, but a lot of you are rejoining the game, which is exactly what I was hoping you all would do. We've had over 1,700 people rejoin and 1,400 of those were free rejoins. Woo, love it. Let's get into the fifth question. It's worth one bonus SB. Here it is. Metal Cry would be appropriate for the pilots in Top Gun. Hooya, Ura, or Hua? Those flyboys that felt the need, the need for speed, were fighter pilots for the U.S. Navy whose unique battle cry is a rallying 
Hoo ya! Ooh, okay, this rough question. We've had, we lost 6,435 of you, so I'm gonna give you all a second to rejoin the game. Get back in the game, everybody. We are halfway through. You only have five more questions to go until you're taking home a piece of that grand prize, so you might as well rejoin. We've had over 3,500 people rejoin. 2,600 of those were free rejoins. Things are looking good. Here's a fun fact about Top Gun. A lot of it was actually filmed in my hometown of San Diego, so pretty cool. Cool little fact there. All right, 3,600 people have rejoined and 2,700 of those were free rejoins. And now it is time that we move on into question number six. We've got one bonus SB for you. Here it is. What was St. Vitus's dance? A ritual, a holiday, or a disease? In 14th century Europe, the people would spontaneously break out into continuous dancing to the point of collapse or even death. That's because they were suffering from St. Vitus's dance, a disease. Okay, 3,500 of you knew the answer to this one. 2,800 of you did not. So why don't you get back in the game, rejoin if you still want a shot at that grand prize, which don't lie, you know you do want a shot at that grand prize. And while I'm letting you all get back in the game, I'm going to show you what I imagined the people, you know, what they looked like when they suffered from this disease. This is what I think it was. <laughs> I would I would, I would not like to have that disease. I hope they're all okay. <laughs> all right, Q7 is worth one bonus SB. Here it is, everybody. Mark Zuckerberg founded which social media site? Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg didn't invent social media, but he did help it explode into the mainstream with his 2004 creation that almost all of us use, Facebook. All right, 4,233 of you got that one right. That's 98.4% of the Swag Nation. Love that. Those numbers are great. Now, I still use Facebook, uh, but I don't find myself posting on it very often. Nowadays, it's just a bunch of political commentary and, you know, recipes and stuff. I'm just not interested. All right, question number eight is worth one bonus SB. Here it is, everybody. The Big Mac is the signature sandwich of what fast food chain? Burger King, McDonald's, or Wendy's? Since it was born in 1967, the recipe has remained the same. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. That is the Big Mac. 4,135 of you are gearing up to take a big bite out of question number nine, the second to last question in today's game. Things are heating up. I'm rooting for you. That's 97.7% of the population who knows their Big Macs. All right, let's get into Q9, worth one bonus SB. The Acropolis can be found in which European country? Italy, England, or Greece? This ancient citadel sits on a mountaintop in Athens and contains the Parthenon, another important structure in the culture of ancient Greece. 3,932 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. If you had fun playing this game, tell your friends all about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link. If people sign up with it, you will get a free rejoin. This game was brought to you by BarkBox. You know we love BarkBox. So BarkBox delivers a new box of treats and toys for your furry little friends each month for a limited time. When you subscribe to any plan through swagbucks.com, you'll get 4,000 SB. And when you sign up for the six or 12 month plan, your first box gets doubled which means four original toys, four bags of healthy treats, and two delicious chews. Be sure to sign up as soon as the game ends. It's a limited time offer. You have to be a U.S. player to qualify, and you also need to be a first-time customer. Dogs are members of your family, so you might as well spoil them rotten with some nice, chewy, got my words all mixed up, chewy toys and healthy treats. 
Wow, that was rough, people. Anyway, BarkBox is great if you have a dog. <laughs> Let's get into the final question. It's worth one bonus as be here is Q10. What candy bar is made up of four fingers you can break off and share? Kit Kat, York Peppermint Patty, or Snickers? Normally, I wouldn't encourage you to go around breaking fingers, but since they're wafers surrounded with chocolate, you can break me off a finger of that Kit Kat bar. 3,944 people knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to all of you who are splitting the grand prize today. We have eBear, Cookie Monster, Danny B, Jack D, and Camila TC walking away with uh, some prize money. I love that. You are getting your prize in the form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You crushed it today, just like I thought you would. I'll be back tomorrow for a new game, so until then, thanks for playing Swagbooks Live. I'm your swag queen, Devin Howard, and I'll see you tomorrow.